This is Varsha Max, so ICC Max 10th trigonometry from RS Agarwal book. This is an example 6 1. So prove that 1 minus sin a by 1 plus sin a equal to secant a minus tan a the whole square. Okay, so this is the first subdivision sum and second subdivision see that this is the second subdivision. So 1 plus cos square theta by 1 minus cos theta. Okay equal to cosecant a minus cot a the whole square so before doing the sum we should uh, recall some basic problems so basic things so what is that secant is the reciprocal of cos theta okay yes and tan theta can be right sin theta by cos theta okay similarly cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sin theta and cot theta is the reciprocal of can be written as tan so cos by sin okay so this is very important reciprocals okay which we are going to use in this problem so first problem so what is the first problem see take that LHS so what is that LHS 1 minus sin a by 1 plus sin a okay so what is the conjugate of the denominator see this this is 1 plus sin theta okay so what is the conjugate so i'm just taking conjugate so that is 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 minus sin a okay so after multiplying see multiplying this and this okay straight multiplication we get 1 minus sin a the whole square okay by see what is this form this is of the form a plus b and a minus b so can be right 1 square minus sin square a so what is that 1, one square minus sin square uh, do you remember that by the identity that is cos square a okay so this is we can write whole square so 1 minus sin a by cos a the whole square the square here both the sign have the, have the numerator and the denominator have the sign so we are just taking as whole okay so that's that is this step so you just differentiate this one by cos a minus sin a by cos a okay the whole square so what is one by cos a so that is secant a so secant a what is sin a by cos a so that is tan a so tan a the whole space. so that's all we got the RHS. okay so do you understand now see the first step so i'm going to say again see the question it is 1 minus sin a the denominator it is 1 plus sin okay i'm just taking conjugate so conjugate is the conjugate means um, see the sin plus sin should be changed into minus that is our conjugate okay so this is the conjugate see after multiplying numerator and the denominator by the conjugate we get this one so how will you this one 1 minus sin a 1 minus sin a equal to whole square and this is 1 square minus sin a the square okay so 1 square minus sin square is equal to cos square by the identity see i'm just writing again see what is that identity see here we have used identity so how is that identity comes sin square plus cos square is equal to one okay so cos square theta is equal to one minus sin square so whenever the sum is needed for one minus sin square we can write cos square we can just write cos square okay so our next step is just square is there and numerator the denominator is just taking the whole square okay so this is whole square so we have split the denominator cos theta 1 minus cos and sin a by cos okay so 1 minus cos this is secant and sin by cos that gives tan so this is an RHS okay so this is first problem over shall we do the next problem yes so this is the second one so it contains cos theta we have to get cosecant and cot okay so same process we can do s yes, okay so take this one okay i'm going to write in the denominator see students 
how will you write so this is 1 minus cos theta and 1 plus cos theta so this is the second problem so what is the problem 1 minus cos a divided by 1 sorry 1 plus cos a divided by 1 minus cos a so this is our question so what is the conjugate so conjugate is the 1 plus cos a see this denominator i'm just changing the sign this is the conjugate of the denominator okay so we get 1 plus cos a so multiplying this one how will you multiply the same problem this one and this one so 1 plus cos a the whole square divided by 1 square minus cos square okay so this is 1 plus cos a the whole square divided by sin square a okay 1 minus cos square right can be right sin square so the square and square so 1 by cos by sin a you can take the whole square so okay so this is 1 by sin a plus cos a by sin a whole square so 1 by square a sin a is the reciprocal of cosecant so this is cosecant plus cos by sin that is cot a the whole square so that's all okay so that's all we got the problem okay so our hs okay students do you understand now the only st two steps only multiplying the conjugate okay so i hope you all understand thank you